Today we'll look at a new category of devices you can control with your Skyhoy controllers, and that is power distribution devices you can remote control over network. NetIO is a company from here in Europe who make these kind of boxes, and you can probably buy them all over the world, but they have a number of models for different applications like rack mount, and here is one that uh, is not rack mountable, but I think um, mountable in industrial applications, and so forth. They even have a cable that will adjust a single cable with the relay on, connectable to your Wi-Fi network. What is common for all of them is that they have a, a web interface where you can uh, access them and turn them on and off, and they also have a machine-to-machine -machine interface. So if we uh, quickly look at the Powerbox, e um, Powerbox over here, it's called Powerbox E7 apparently. Um, then you see it has uh, three outputs of power and it's currently connected to my Blackmagic camera and this little lamp. And if I press here, no surprise, you would be able to turn off this camera. This Ragfly Uno also has the same kind of control. So as I go to my Demo 2 unit, I can turn on the camera on that button as well. You see it also happens in the web interface. So no surprise, we are basically talking to the Powerbox. We support, I think, all of the models they actually have. They are basic in the sense that they have a number of outputs and sometimes they can also measure the power consumption on the device. And we'll look at that for the Rackfly uh, Uno right here in just a moment. The blue pill you find right here, this little product is a... Um, a platform from Skahoy that is a booster technology for your Unisketch panels. So this is a Unisketch Ragfly Uno, and with the blue pill in place, you can make all kinds of powerful applications of one or more Skahoy controllers. Today, we're just working with a single one, and it also has a web interface right here. So in the Reactor web interface, Reactor is the software running on the blue pill, you can see we are connected to a blue pill and the Ragfly Uno, this guy. We can actually identify it easily. So we just, if we have multiple pens, we can easily find it here. And I want to remind you that this technology is in fact designed to give you um, modularity across Skyhoy controllers. So for instance, I can add a panel by just searching panels on my network and we have a lot of panels on the network here. So we could pick any of these. There's even multiple pages of panels from our network that I could pick, but uh, we won't do that in this demonstration. I just want to show you that it's possible. You can also pick them manually and so on. So that's one thing that you can expect from Blue Pill and Reactor. Another thing you can expect is the device uh, connectivity in here. And in many other videos you have seen, um, we have probably connected to a single camera or a single video router or a single switcher. In this case, we are in fact connected to six different power distribution devices from NetIO. We have the um, demo unit. Let me see. I think either this guy or this one over here, but we have demo one and two. I think this is one, this is number two today, but I'm also connected to the devices we use in our everyday life. And that's the, the um, similar unit to this one, eight power outputs for our main rack in the showroom. And then our studio where I'm sitting right now, I'm actually in control of the studio. So if I hit a button the wrong way, I'll shut off this production right now. So those six devices are all connected to my Rackfly Uno right here. The way we laid it out is, um, you know, it's just one application. You can choose many, okay? But today we did it in the way that we have a selector over here for multiple of these devices. And let's just see how that is actually managed inside um, Reactor here. We have this device selector. If I, if I pick this one, you see six entries right here and they correspond to the entries that you find on this selector right here. And I'm even thinking that if I change the name here, we may see it um, happen that, that this name is changing on my um, device selector on the Ragfly Uno. And that is in fact the case. The last button here is usually designated to be a paging button. You could ask yourself, we have six uh, units, why not use six keys to address each one of them? Well, because we build it in a flexible way. So if we want to um, have a seventh unit, we could actually add it right here. If I add this one, you see that we have unit number seven. And if I gave it a name, then it would also pop up 
right here. But of course, I don't have seven units, so we will now just delete this one. But it's this is how easy you can add more units to this control configuration that we have made today. Very powerful. And may I remind you that the same principle is how you add cameras on RCPs and uh, PDC controllers from Skahoy when they run on the Blue Pill platform. So we have made a very powerful and easy way to add, remove and shuffle devices around. I can also, if I go to the first page here, I can change the order by dragging in this selector between demo one and demo two to just swap those two around right here. So that's a little about how this reactor uh, application and the interface works with the RegFly Uno and the Blue Pill. None of this requires online connectivity. It happens instantly. And that's one of the powerful and really, really wonderful features of Reactor that all changes are just instantly applied to your panels. Let's look at what we can actually control. So I said we have the demo two unit over here. It's connected to my Blackmagic camera and on the um, far end of my um, Regfly Uno, I have output number one, output number two and output number three. The LEDs show you whether they are turned on or not. And if I press here for the middle output, which is not connected to anything, it's turned on and now I'm turning it off. So the LED lamp can be turned off by a push of this button and I can also turn off the camera by a push of this button, right? So those are available from this panel right here. Then if I move on to the second demo unit I have right here, you see now I have all eight outputs of this one. Before I had only the three here, but now I have eight and they are even named like they were named in the unit. So we are uh, in the interface of the power box. You can see the Blackmagic camera control um, and name here is, is written here. So if I change this, if we go back to, to demo, you can see the label right there is, of course, taken. So I'll just apply a few um, exclamation marks. And then when I save these changes, we'll also see they are popping up in the display. So in the classic Skahoy style, we are able to pull labels out of the devices and apply them on the displays on your Skahoy controllers, which is great and uh, expected, of course, that you get this flexibility. When I'm at demo unit one, I can now turn on my network switch by pushing this button. And in a moment, you'll see the inline 10 boot up right here. Actually, the inline 10 represents a case of everyday usage in Skahoy for the NetIO devices and our own technology. The inline 10 is used by my producer to turn on and off the devices in his studio. So this is already a very, very useful thing. In a sense, it almost feels paradoxical that we have a network controllable power box, power distribution unit, and then we introduce another tactile control to turn it on and off. But the truth is that when you are close to your gear, you want tactile control. So of course you want a button to push to turn it on instead of entering a web browser with your phone. But on the other side, sometimes we are also sitting at our homes and we are connecting to our equipment in the studio through a VPN network. In those cases, obviously, you um, really need either a very long stick or you need to have network connectivity with your web browser. You get both, right? So this is why these units from NetIO are so awesome. So it turned on as expected and we can also turn it off once again. Now I want to bring your attention to what you see right here. This is measurements of power consumption from the devices. And if I go to my main rack, I become a little bit concerned because this is how much power we are using on an everyday basis, almost 24 seven. Uh, we do shut them off though uh, every night. So automatically, even if the last guy that leaves the office did not turn it off, it will automatically turn off. But we're actually consuming 1.5 kilowatts of power right now on our main rack, which is this unit um, uh, driving our whole showroom. If we look at the Studio One, you find that we are currently for this video production consuming 150 watts plus the 200 watts on another unit. Plus, if we go to the Studio 3, there's 350 watts. What is that? Now, but isn't that pretty cool that you can actually see this on the displays of the controller? You can follow how much power consumption you have on these different units, how much energy is used generally, what is the voltage, how, what is the uptime, and then, of course, the name of the device. So all these things are here. And... Um, 
I almost feel like I want to shut down the production right now <laughs> because of all the power we are consuming. But I would actually be able to do so right now by these very powerful buttons, which will turn off the light in the studio. Why, why, why would I do that now that I'm in front of the camera? So maybe we'll just go back to some of the um, demo units that we were allowed to play with. So um, summarizing this, NetIO, power distribution units, network control, new category of devices that you can integrate when you control different equipment with your power uh, for Skyhoy controllers. And if you dial back in time to some of the other videos we have done for remote production, you can see how useful this is. Like if you have a remote studio, like um, back in the, in the early Corona days, we demonstrated how we could control an ATEM switcher in my kitchen. Keep in mind that you can integrate this with your device control. It doesn't have to be a dedicated panel for your power devices. It can be as integrated as you want it. Classic Skahoy style. Thanks for watching this video. We have online materials like a white paper on the NetIO integration that you can go and read to learn more about how the Skahoy and Blue Pill platform can support these devices. And uh, we also hope that you'll follow us on social media and YouTube. Subscribe, please, because then you won't miss out on any of the news that we are communicating about our products. And there'll be so much more to tell you about Blue Pill and Reactor in the coming time. So you should definitely make sure that you subscribe to learn all about our new inventions at Skahoy.